Hey guys, it's Tina Sheth here at Rebalance Physical Therapy and Wellness. And chances are, if you're watching this video, then you are dealing with some sort of peripartum um, or postpartum issue that you're looking for answers to. And so what I wanna kinda help explain to you is some of those symptoms that you might be having um, and basically what we do here to help rehabilitate and get your body back to where it was prior to having a baby um, and get you as fit as possible and probably even better than you were before you had a baby. So basically what common things that we hear, you know, when we are treating a uh, post, you know, peri or postpartum mom is that I went to my healthcare practitioner, my GYM, my midwife or my nurse practitioner um, and they basically didn't really tell me a whole lot after I had the baby. And I have all these questions, I'm not sure you know, if I should be exercising, when it's okay for me to go back to exercise. You know, I basically had a C-section and I was told that I'm healing well, but that's it. Um, and I'm still having pain. Some of you guys might still be having pain with intercourse, discomfort in your perineum with sitting, tailbone pain, sacroiliac joint pain, low back issues, hip pain. Did I say pubic symphysis pain? Um, you might be having pelvic organ prolapse, some of you guys may not even know what that is yet, but those of you who are possibly having that may know what that is. But oftentimes it feels like there's something foreign in and around your vagina. Um, you might feel heaviness in and around that area. Um, something just doesn't feel right. Something doesn't look right down there. Some of you guys might be having sensitivity to your C-section scar. Some of you guys feel like you're still pregnant and you feel like every time you even drink a glass of water, you have the tiniest bit of food, you still feel like you're bloated and you feel like you're pregnant. Um, some of you guys feel like your core isn't back to the way that it should be. And the list goes on and on. Neck pain, back pain, arm stiffness, um, breastfeeding discomfort. So all of these things, you probably have questions and maybe you went to your health care practitioner and they don't really actually know how to answer those questions. And this is actually something that they really aren't this is not their area of specialty because actually this ends up being our specialty which is um it's basically musculoskeletal in nature meaning it's muscle it has to do with the bones and yes even sometimes that feeling of urinary frequency incontinence all of those types of things that seem like it's more of a bladder issue it's actually what we rehabilitate here at Rebalance Physical Therapy, believe it or not. So all of these things actually have to do a lot with posture, alignment, and muscle, and something called fascia. And so when you are, you know, the nine months that, that your baby is growing and accommodating, you know, your body's accommodating for this growing baby and getting ready for delivery, your posture and your alignment and your bones and everything is changing. And when that changes, your posture actually changes with this too. So now, you know, you're, you're trying, you know, you've got this 15 to sometimes 30 pounds on you that you're trying to balance for nine months. And so of course, many women are gonna end up developing all sorts of issues and aches and pains and all these types of things because you're, you know, you're, you, you're not used to having this amount of, you know, weight on you. Um, and so, but then what happens is very quickly, within 24 hours, this baby is out of you. So what happens with your body? It's not like your body says, hey, I remember what my posture used to be like, and I'm going to get back to that. No, that's not actually what happens. Your body then has to very quickly compensate into finding a balance again. And your body does not care how it's going to do that because it just needs to function. Your body needs to carry on. It needs to now take care of a baby. It needs to stay up all night. It needs to, you know, lift heavy car seats now. You need to carrying around, you're carrying a child and patting them on the back and, you know, all of these things. So your body's gonna compensate the way that it needs to and it's not gonna care how it does it. And so with that ends up having, you know, all sorts of complaints, you know, that I was just talking about and that can continue after having the baby. And so it is not normal because people will ask, they're like, is it normal that I'm still after eight weeks having issues? And I'm here to tell you, no matter what anyone tells you, even if they say, oh yeah, this is normal, you know, this is what happens after you have a baby. It is not normal. It is not normal to walk around with pain. It is not normal to have 
any of these issues. And there is help to get your body back to the way it was. And I know this because I've probably had everything under the books. I've had three children, I've had vaginal deliveries, C-sections, and I've had almost everything that I have already talked about in this video and every complaint. And I've been able to rehab myself, you know, back to almost where I was before my first child. So, um, so if you are having any of those complaints or anything that I possibly didn't talk about in this video, but you're not getting answers for them, chances are we probably have the answers for that. So, um, so what do we do now? Um, and, and I am here to tell you every single person that every single mom should be getting good, holistic, hands-on rehabilitation after having a baby. I truly believe that for every single mom because you know, it's not like these issues are gonna go away. They just become worse and honestly, after you start hitting your late 30s and into your 40s and you start having more children along the way, things just, they, they don't tend to get better, they tend to get worse if you don't have some good intervention. So what is it that we do here at Rebalance for our patients? So our big thing is really trying to get your inner core functioning optimally. And what do I mean by your inner core? So when most people think of core, right? When you think of trainers treating core and you you know hear about all these other, in the fitness industry of core, 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 most people automatically think of abdominals and your low back. And while that is true, there is a part of your core, which I kind of say is your outer core, okay? That's all the big muscles that you can see on the outside of the body that most people again, in the fitness industry, think of your core. However, this inner core is actually a group of four muscles. Now I'm gonna show you a picture here. This is actually a photo from one of my um, favorite mentors and teachers. Her name's Diane Lee. It's from her pelvic girdle book, fifth edition. And so basically this is a picture of someone's, a, a side profile of someone's body with a lot, basically all the musculature taken out except for the four inner core muscles and some of the bones here. So this right here is your pelvic floor, okay? The pelvic floor muscle, muscles attach from your tailbone to your pubic bone and you can't see it here, but it actually attaches to your hip. Then you've got this, this deep inner, um, abdominal musculature called your transverse abdominus. Then you have your deep low back muscles right in through here. Okay, and then you've got this muscle right over here that most of you might not recognize, but it's your diaphragm. It's actually the muscles that you use to breathe. And these four muscles can become problematic, not only in you know, anyone that basically has some sort of musculoskeletal injury, but it definitely, those inner four muscles can become problematic in most women that end up having a baby. So after you've had a baby, you know, your diaphragm, your rib cage can change, your abdominals can definitely change to accommodate the growing baby, your pelvic floor, definitely, even if you have a C-section, just carrying the baby causes changes with your pelvic floor and definitely the low back musculature, especially when your alignment and your posture starts to change. So when those four muscles aren't functioning the way that they should in a very symmetrical way, okay? And when I mean by not functioning, meaning they're either too weak or they're too tight, okay? And don't just assume that all of these muscles become weak. They can actually become tight too or a combination of both tight and weak, even within the same muscle group. Then when they're not functioning correctly, then everything else, all the other muscles in your body, including your outer core, okay, will start to compensate and not function right. And that's when you start noticing you're starting to have muscle aches and pain, your fascia starts to feel really tight, you're starting to become you know, incontinent, or again, you've got these pelvic organ prolapses, or you can't get back to running, or something is painful. So that's where our focus at Rebalance initially is. Our evaluation is definitely centered around a lot of that inner core function and getting it functioning optimally and then layering all the other muscles on top. Um, definitely taking care of C-section scars because believe it or not, that C-section scar can cause a lot of problems even though it looks fine from the outside. So a proper evaluation of everything from C-section scar to your alignment, to um, your posture, to these inner four muscles. Um, this is a big part of what we do and then we're gonna get back everything in terms of getting you functioning and moving again. So for those of you who are looking for good, holistic, 
a really good thorough postpartum care program, this is what uh, we're gonna be focusing here on at Rebalance. And of course, everything is very individually tailored. So your needs might be different than someone else's needs. Your, um, you know, you wanting to go back to say running or Pilates or, or yoga or just maybe even just getting back to being able to sit normally or have a normal sex life again, you know, everyone is different. And so our, our um, program is going to be tailored to what you need and to reach your goals. So um, if you are thinking about possibly coming in and seeing us, then definitely you can qualify for a free 15 minute consultation with us. So take advantage of that. Um, and then we can help figure out who would be best suitable in our practice to take care of you. Okay. So have a wonderful day. Take care.